हाय एवरीवन वेरी गुड मॉर्निंग थैंक यू मेरे बच्चों वेट करने के लिए ये देखो हम घर से क्लासेस लेते हैं हम ऑफिस से क्लासेस लेते हैं हम ऐसे सेटअप में क्लासेस लेते हैं वेर एट टाइम्स इट्स लिटिल ट्रिकी देर आर ग्लिचेस दैट वी हैव टू डील विद एंड वन ऑफ सम वन ऑफ द ग्लिचेस दैट अकर्ड इन द मॉर्निंग वी हैव टू डील विद इट एंड दैट्स वाई आई एम एट मिनट्स लेट बट आई एम सो सॉरी एंड आई एम सो ग्लैड दैट यू बिन वेटिंग फॉर मी people who do not know me my name is alpa sharma and we are here together uh, after one week on uh, very good morning to discuss editorials from uh, various newspapers and learn many many things out of it hi everyone hi. yes yes uh, i think uh, good morning sankirtana uh, zatitude new version i don't know what what is your name but then it's okay thank you so much for waiting chalo jaldi se start karte hai to late ho gaya thoda sa i'm so sorry for that बट बेटर लेक देन नेवर है ना क्लास कैंसिल होती है उससे बढ़िया तो कर लेते आज शो सी सो आई मेट यू गाइज इन द लास्ट क्लास लास्ट थर्सडे एंड आई फाउंड दैट अ कपल ऑफ किड्स हैड अ बिट ऑफ डिफिकल्टी इन अंडरस्टैंडिंग द पैसेज दैट आई हैड बॉट सो आई हैव अ डिफरेंट परस्पेक्टिव टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू चेंज द मेथोडोलॉजी ऑफ द क्लास दैट आई हैव विथ यू वॉट चेंज एम आई गोइंग टू बी डूइंग I usually bring one article for you from Mayon or the Guardian or the New York Times. We read that article and we try to understand the contextual meaning the words have, the inferences that we draw, main idea, tone. हम ये सब समझने की कोशिश करते हैं, ठीक है? But आज ना मैंने थोड़ा सा alter किया है methodology को. Alteration क्या किया मैंने? I have brought two articles from two different sources. और उसको पढ़ने के लिए first वाला जो article हम करेंगे, both of the articles are small. so that you are able to understand your approach in reading a passage aapka approach hona kaisa chahiye kis tarike se padhna hai aapko and for people jinka vocabulary thoda poor hai bahut extraordinarily acha nahi hai unke liye i have separately taken out vocabulary in three different slides so that's exactly how i want you guys to read so i have taken out vocabulary separately in three different slides that i want you to take a screenshot of we will first look at the vocabulary that's there in the passage that's after that we're going to read the passage and see if knowing the words beforehand helps us or not and what exactly am i supposed to find in a passage while i'm reading that theek hai so ye cheeze aaj hum karne wale hain pehle article mein vocabulary separately karenge second article mein vocab separate nahi kiya hai it's there in the passage only and we're going to understand the contextual meaning of the word we're going to understand the tone of the author inferences draw karenge summary of the passage nikalenge summary bahut important hai aapko pata hai cat mein baki examinations mein summary kitni important hoti hai aapke liye to start kare pehle passage ke sath everyone yeah everybody shall we go give me a thumbs up everyone who's watching me live चले ठीक है सो चलते हैं स्टार्ट करते हैं पैसेज के साथ बट बिफोर दैट वी लॉन्च आर कैट 2023 कॉम्प्रिहेंसिव प्रोग्राम इफ यू आर समबडी यू टारगेट्स कैट 23 दिस इज वन प्रोग्राम दैट यू कैन एनरोल योरसेल्फ फॉर द डिटेल्स ऑफ द प्रोग्राम आर देयर अंडर माय वीडियो इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स अल्टरनेटिवली माय वीडियो टीम इज गोइंग टू शेयर द कांटेक्ट नंबर ऑफ द काउंसलर्स इन द चैट बॉक्स यू कैन स्पीक टू देम डायरेक्टली एज़ वेल ओके सो हियर इज आवर फर्स्ट स्लाइड ऑफ द वोकैबुलरी दैट हैव टेकन आउट ऑफ द पैसेज दैट आई हैव फॉर यू ठीक है सो the first word is magnet looking at the first word you have to make a guess of who the article would talk about okay so magnet is usually a very influential influential business person it could be a business man a business woman but you are a pretty influential one aisa kaun business magnet hai jo kuch mahino se bahut news mein ho rahe hain can you guess whom uh, is the article going to talk about who is that one business magnate who has been in news for all these months weeks just a minute yeah who is it any guesses anyone any business magnate a very influential person adani has been in news neha but that's not what we are going to talk about aur koi acha thoda sa aur hint deti hu a business magnate who has been criticized over last few years. yeah yeah it has to be elon musk we are going to be talking about elon musk today theek hai to dekho ye jo classes hote hain na editorial wali bachche aapko ye samajhna padega that uh, this class is going to work, help you work on multiple things 
is going to help you work on your interview skills, on your GD skills, is going to help you uh, aid your GK, is going to, of course, prepare you for verbal ability. That's the main uh, agenda of the class as well. So that's why I try to bring some articles around current issues, some that are on history, some that are on politics, multiple types. So today we will do an article about Elon Musk. Article karenge. Of course, he has been one person who has been very criticized in the past few months. Why is he doing it? That's another story. But for now, you need to know a magnet is an influential business person. Okay? Hemsmanship. Usually when there's a... Uh, uh, some, there's somebody who is in charge of a ship. So he guides the ship with the steering. Okay. Wo us ship ko guide kar de ki ship kaun si direction mein jana chahiye. So hemsmanship is the quality or the skill of guiding. Not necessarily a ship. It could be a ship. It could be something else as well. Guiding something is the quality of hemsmanship. The principles that govern the hemsmanship of marine vessels. Ye ship ke saath mein, but contextual, metaphorical ye use ho sakta hai bilkul. Okay, that's the second word. Let's have a look at the third word, eerily. Eerily is going to be very weird, unusual, uh, quiet or surrounding. That eerie is unusual and uh, uh, weird kind of environment. It's something that's very frightening to you. That is eerie. So, for example, Ratko Teen Bajay, the silence is eerie. Okay, when you enter the house and your mom is just sitting and looking at you. Her look is eerie because you probably think you must have done something wrong and that's why she's just sitting and waiting for you to come. So eerie is unusual, strange, something that's scary. Okay, that's eerie. Then we have a witting down. Witting down can easily be associated to firings in an organization. Basically, drastically reducing the number of something is witting down. This is a phrasal verb. Koi aisa samay hota tha when cat used to give us phrasal verbs a lot of them i'm glad they have stopped asking direct questions on phrasal verbs there may be indirect ones but there are a few as well and uh, i'm glad phrasal verbs don't come anymore directly because uh, they are very tricky layoffs yes sneha you can call it as waiting down so waiting down is basically reducing the number of something uh, so phrasal verbs up directly to nahi aate cat mein but pehle aate the aur wo bahut kharab time tha Chale. So, uh, please take a screenshot of this first slide. We have three slides of vocabulary today. And uh, I hope, you know, knowing the meaning of these words is going to help you understand the passage even better. I hope you've taken a screenshot, everyone. Chale. Slide number two, everybody. Okay. So, whimsical. Wait. Yeah. Whimsical. Whimsical is... Uh, Bacche jase apne man mein kahaniya nahi wana the stories. Oh, mama, I saw a pony one day. Uh, uh, who was flying, it's like a unicorn. These are whimsical stories. Apne man mein hi ek aisi bach, bachkani, ek childish story create kar lena, jo ki unreal hai. Creating something unreal in your mind, which is usually amusing. Childish is, uh, a childish imagination is a whimsical one. A whimsical sense of humor, a childish one, an amusing one, uh, a, a fanciful one, but you know, no intention to hurt anybody. That's whimsical. Okay? Fantasy ko aap bol sakte ho. Yes, neha. Bilkul bol sakte ho. Chike? Next word is going to be impersonation. I am sure this word is not new to all you kids. Uh, you know, you guys are pretty okay with social media. I am sure all of you use social media. And uh, I am sure you know impersonation is a term that's so much associated with social media. The idea is that while social media uh, became popular, some people pretended to be somebody else. So, for example, a fake account created impersonating somebody else. They are trying to pretend that they are Shah Rukh Khan and they create an account with Shah Rukh Khan's name. You are impersonating Shah Rukh Khan. Uh, somebody comes to you and uh, tells you that, okay, I am uh, this, this, this person and your father has sent me to pick you up. He is just impersonating uh, somebody who is not real. So, pretending to be somebody else is impersonating. Okay? Social media is a very common word. Hota hai. Eliciting. A simple synonym to eliciting would be evoking. When I say, when I ask you, Are you not coming in Send me a thumbs up. What I am trying to do is, I am trying to evoke a, a feeling in your heart. I am trying to evoke an answer out of you. So, to generate is eliciting. Generate is another synonym to it. I will write that down here. Okay. Generate is a synonym to... Elicit, evoke is a synonym to elicit. Okay. 
let's move on to our next word and the last word for the slide mitigate when you take a painkiller what does it do it mitigates your pain reducing the bad effects of something reducing the severity of something that is mitigating okay so mitigating the effects of inflation the government will try to launch policies that will reduce the negative impacts of inflation that's mitigating slide number 2 everyone jaldi se screenshot le lo aur mujhe ek baat batao yes absolutely that it you use kar sakte ho aise acha mujhe ek baat batao bringing vocabulary separately is it helping you do you want me to continue uh bringing vocabulary like this in every class or would you want to do it contextually from the passage itself that we're going to do in the classes i'd like to know that from you am i kyunki uh this is a fresh set of students that i have after cat 22 is over i'd like to know aap logo ko is it helping you just a minute bringing individual vocabulary uh like this or you want me to continue it helps theek hai done i'm going to continue that for some time at least chaliye aage badhte hain next word last slide okay dik that's usually a forcible rule order decree jo aap force karte ho kisi ke upar ओके, आई एम श्योर नॉर्थ कोरिया के बहुत सारे एग्जांपल्स आपने देखे होंगे आई एम श्योर चाइना के स्ट्रिंजेंट लॉकडाउन के एग्जांपल आपने देखे होंगे न्यूज़पेपर्स में सो अ डिग्री इज यूजुअली अ रूल दैट्स प्रेशराइज्ड ऑन पीपल विदाउट पॉपुलर कंसेंट दैट्स अ डिक्टेट और अ डिग्री डिग्री बोल सकते हो बट डिग्री यूजुअली फोर्सफुल नहीं होता है डिक्टेट इज यूजुअली फोर्सफुल दैट्स द डिफरेंस बिटवीन अ डिग्री एंड अ डिक्टेट्स सो डिक्टेट इज अ फोर्सफुल रूल ऑर्डर दैट्स अप्लाइड विदाउट पॉपुलर कंसेंट इननेट इज इनबिल्ट नेचुरल सो आई I'm somebody who loves reading, so language was innate to me. Knowing language, language skills were innate to me. It came naturally to me. कोई चीज़ आपको naturally है जैसे artist है उसको naturally ही just a minute, guys. I want you to give me a second. Something just to okay, great. ठीक है. So that is what is called as innate. Out of one's depth, एक ऐसा सिचुएशन जहां आपको कुछ समझ में नहीं आता क्या करना चाहिए यू आर स्टक यू आर इन रट यू आर इन डिलेमा यू डोंट नो वट टू डू यू डोंट नो हाउ टू कॉम्प्रीहेंड थिंग्स यू डोंट नो वट इज द नेक्स्ट स्टेप यू शुड बी टेकिंग यू आर आउट ऑफ वन जोन डेप्थ ओके इट्स अ डिफिकल्ट सिचुएशन दैट यू हैव टू डील विथ इट इज आउट ऑफ वन जोन डेप्थ ठीक है आगे नेक्स्ट वर्ड लास्ट वर्ड फॉर द स्लाइड हियर इट इज डिस इंफॉर्मेशन ओके सब शांति से बैठो दो मिनट बात करेंगे इसके बारे में ये बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट है वट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन मिस इंफॉर्मेशन एंड डिस इंफॉर्मेशन हुज गोन टू टेल मी वट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन मिस इंफॉर्मेशन एंड डिस इंफॉर्मेशन बाय द टाइम आई हैव अ सिप ऑफ वॉटर यू कैज टेल मी द डिफरेंस आई शेल वेट फॉर योर आंसर्स मिस इंफॉर्मेशन एंड डिस इंफॉर्मेशन मिस और डिस अगर आपको डिफरेंस पता है तो आप मिस इंफॉर्मेशन डिस इंफॉर्मेशन में भी डिफरेंस बता पाओगे देखो सिंस नो बडी हैज आंसर्ड मुझे समझाने तो इट्स इंपॉर्टेंट आई वॉन्ट ऑल ऑफ यू टू बी वेरी अटेंटिव योर सेम डिफरेंस जो हम मिस इंफॉर्मेशन और डिस इंफॉर्मेशन में देखेंगे सेम गोज फॉर डिस इंटरेस्टेड एंड अन इंटरेस्टेड ठीक है सो मिस is wrong misinformation wrong information dena whereas disinformation aims at deliberately giving you wrong information to either uh, you know bring out a negative side or influence you negatively or to uh, for example i create a facebook post that goes viral and leads to mob lynching that and i deliberately created that post that is disinformation misinformation is okay this xyz actor is dead galat information aayi mere paas maine galat post kar di maine galat reshare kar di that's dis that's misinformation wrong information but disinformation comes with a negative context 
because the aim of disinformation is to either spread hatred or any kind of negativity so this becomes more negative than miss miss me harm karne ka idea nahi hai kisi ko disinformation has an idea of harming i hope you get the difference everyone so similar difference comes between uninterested and disinterested this aapko kyunki pata hai bahut negative hota hai uninterested mujhe koi interest nahi hai instagram mein main instagram pe nahi aaungi mujhe koi interest nahi but if i am disinterested in instagram that means mujhe lagta hai instagram mera private data nikal lega mujhe harm karega it's going to uh, track where i am going it's going to spy on me to jahan zyada negativity aa jati hai wahan aap dis lagate hain miss ke sath ya un ke sath नेगेटिव है बट नॉट एज नेगेटिव डू यू गेट द डिफरेंस एवरी वन आया सब कुछ डिफरेंस समझ में मिस इंफॉर्मेशन और डिस इंफॉर्मेशन में डिस इंफॉर्मेशन हैज बिन वर्ड दैट हैज बिन प्रिटी प्रिटी पॉपुलर इन द लास्ट फोर फाइव सिक्स इयर्स एवर सिंस सोशल मीडिया टू कवर एवरी वन लाइफ ठीक है सो जल्दी से स्क्रीनशॉट ले लो स्लाइड नंबर थ्री और फिर मैसेज पढ़ना स्टार्ट करते हैं ह्योर वी गो सो Here is our passage. अब आपको करना क्या है यहां देखो दिस पैसेज ऑफकोर्स टॉक्स अबाउट इलॉन मास्क आई वॉन्ट यू टू रीड द पेज एंड आई वॉन्ट यू टू टेल मी द ओपिनियन ऑफ द ऑथर बाय द टाइम यू एंड रीडिंग दिस पेज गुड लक रीड दिस वेरी क्विकली थैंक यू सर इट्यूड Now, if you've read the page, you have to tell me the opinion of the author. The, अच्छा, simple words में author का opinion positive है, negative है या neutral है? चलो simple से start करते हैं समझना passage. Is the author neutral, or is he positive, or is he negative? Absolutely negative. Absolutely. यहां देखो देर आर ए फ्यू लाइन एट यू हैव टू पे अटेंशन टू एंड यूल ऑल्सो नो वाई आई वॉन्ट यू टू नो दी ओपिनियन ऑफ दर बच्चे एक बात समझिए एवरी वन ऑथर का ओपिनियन ही आपको पैसेज के जिस्ट और टोन का आंसर बताएगा एंड इफ यू नो द टोन एंड द जिस्ट ड्रॉइंग इंफ्लुएंसेस ऑल्सो इज गोइंग टू बी सुप्रीमली ईजी फॉर यू so when you are reading a passage you know you have to know by the end of it the gist of the passage the tone of the author you have to draw inferences by paying attention to how the author looks at things it's very easy for me to eliminate options in gist tone and inferential options of course uh he starts with elon musk uh, taking over twitter after a 44 billion acquisition and then there was a lot of uh, uh, speculation in the market that uh, ट्विटर अंडर हिस्स कंट्रोल इज गोइंग टू गो डाउन बट इतना नीचे जाएगा इतना के हो जाएगा ये किसी ने फोर्स ही नहीं किया था सो अफकोर्स पीपल बींग फायर्ड ट्विटर बिकमिंग अ प्लेस वेर पीपल आर इम्पर्सनेटिंग अदर पीपल यू कैन जस्ट बाय वेरीफाइड अकाउंट एवरी थिंग इज जस्ट गोइंग डाउन द ड्रेन एवरी थिंग इज वेरी नेगेटिव अबाउट इलॉन मस्क हेडिंग ट्विटर नाउ दैट इज द जिस्ट ऑफ द इंटायर पेज दैट वी हैव डन 
negative but not openly. Yes, uh, Manisa, you are absolutely right. He is negative but not openly criticizing that Elon Musk, you should not have headed the organization. There is a tinge of negativity though. The author is talking about the chaos which will happen when social media companies are taken over. Specifically Twitter. Yes, attitude. Let's go on to the next page and let's see if the author again openly criticizes Elon Musk or is he still mincing words? Let's go to the next page. Page number two. Read this and send me a done. Next question, is the author negative here about Elon Musk? Be very careful while you answer this. In this passage, here in this page, is the author critical about Elon Musk or is he actually trying to evaluate things? Is there evaluation happening or is the author criticizing? The answer is the author is trying to evaluate. If you know, uh, yes, it's evaluation. Correct. He's evaluating what's going wrong with Twitter. He, again, is not openly criticizing what Elon Musk has done. He says, you know, Elon Musk was open enough to come and say, ki, naya chahiye CEO. So, sab logo ne affirmation diya ki, haan, naya CEO chahiye. Unho ne bola, tiki, mein resign kar dunga, mein naya CEO dhoon rao. But, he's just analyzing the entire scene of what has happened with Twitter after Elon Musk took over. So, Twitter is uh, because it used to be a place where journalists would come, they would uh, uh, solve the grievances, they would address problems, uh, people would come from different spheres of life. Yet, this place, Twitter has become a, more of a place of disinformation. How did that happen? The author is not talking to Elon Musk. He is evaluating. Yes, yes, uh, Sankirtana, you are absolutely right. Okay, uh, so Devage, I'll tell you what uh, does out of his depth mean. But Devage, I'm sure you joined the class late. Uh, out of his depth, I'll tell you why uh, am I saying that you're late. Because uh, I had already taken out these vocabulary words in three slides. And we've already discussed these words. So, uh, you can watch the, uh, the the class that you, the remaining class that you've missed out on. Nonetheless, since the question is up, out of depth is a new situation that you can't deal with. You don't have to understand what you so, uh, next time, say, uh, I would highly recommend that you come on time to the class uh, so that you don't miss out on important information. Uh, out of depth is being in a situation where you are confused. You don't know what to do. You're in a rut. Next page, everyone. Last paragraph. Read this and send me a done. These are birds outside.
what is the conclusion the author is drawing by the end of the passage kya conclusion draw kiya if you want to highlight a line you can highlight the line too if you want to write down the conclusion i'll be happy with that as well what is the conclusion the author has drawn how does he conclude the passage exactly getting a better version of twitter yes a uh, a place that's more democratic a place that's well governed lesser of the negativity that was mentioned throughout the passage and more of a democratic place where people aren't just fired over twitter well while they're just trying to point out mistakes in elon musk the last line is the conclusion absolutely he you know in the entire page he's a little critical he's a little analytical but he ends the passage with a hopeful note that okay if you become a little more democratic and well governed twitter is going to be a place that it used to be earlier not what it is now so he ends the passage with a note of positivity absolutely so we see the passage started off with negativity then he evaluated the entire situation and then he concludes with a ray of hope in the future a suggestion that goes out to elon musk that's the entire flow of information this is a very simple article that i had taken the reason why i had taken such a simple article was that uh yeah it is a new version that's right so i'll tell you why had i taken a simple article because i would i wanted to know uh if bringing vocabulary separately helped you or not if uh, you know uh, you would want me to get simpler articles or difficult ones i wanted to understand your perspective while i took uh, these classes yeah you can nikhil you can actually summarize the entire passage with this line that you've written i have one more passage uh, for you now and i will not discuss anything in it i have three pages of that article read page 1 send me a done page 2 send me a done page 3 send me a done by the end of the page three you will tell me what is the article about how will you tell me what the article is about you are going to be telling me dhyan se sunjo main fir se samjha rahi hu sab logo ko by the way our last lab to that uh, 2023 is going on it, it started on 21st december it ends on 1st of january every day at 7 pm don't miss out on this series karna kya aapko next passage sprawls over three pages you have to read all the three pages after one page is done send me a done so that i switch on to the next page by the end of the passage you have to tell me four words that will define the entire passage four words that encompasses the main idea of the entire passage the summary of the entire passage can you do that everyone theek hai chalo chalte hain to padho page number 1 send me a done after you have done reading this by the end of the passage you have to tell me four words that will define the summary of the entire passage read this and send me done all the best everyone I am hanging in the air. Kya ho raha hai ye? Page number two.
Next slide, everyone. Next page, everyone. Last page. Oh, okay, Sankirtana. Others, uh, I wouldn't comment right now on Sankirtana's uh, answer. Can you, not four, but can you send me two words? You can send me four as well. So that will define the entire passage. I've read Sankirtana's answer. Two words that would define the entire passage. That are the most important words in the whole passage. Agreement, future, behavior, no control. Theek hai. They go, future is the most important word in the passage. Next most important word. Decision making, if you remember the story, your decision was tweaked when you thought about the future. So, it's your ability to, they go, hua kya tha story mein? the author took a, there were two people discussed, discussed in the story and one was about to go, but then somebody else did something talking about the future and the decision just changed. It led to a treaty that has been intact ever since. So, it's about the entire passage is about decision making and how decision making can be impacted if you think about your future. The example of your pensions was given. The example of your retirement was given. If you think of your retirement, you would probably save more today. Sankirtana, your summary is absolutely perfect. That defines the main idea of the passage. Did you guys understand? Pura passage bata raha hai in a nutshell ki kaise agar aap future ke baare mein sochenge to aapka decision making alter ho sakta hai. Abhi agar aap ek decision lenge present ka sochke to wo shayad kuch aur hoga. Lekin agar aap future ko mind mein rakhoge. Uska decision aapka different ho sakta hai. Wo alter kar sakta hai. Of course, social media or politics. Ye sab ka alag alag perspective dimaag mein rakhte hue hai. Thik hai? Yes, Mehul, you are absolutely correct. So, decision by future perspectives is the main idea of the passage here. So, what we have done today? Today, we have learned this way that for any passage to summary, we can use a methodology of identifying four words. 
probably three, probably two as well, if there are lesser ideas in the passage, that will define the entire passage. We learned many, many vocabulary words. If there are people who joined me late, please watch the first half of the class. I have given out at least uh, three slides of uh, vocabulary from today's articles that we did. You have to memorize these words. These are high frequency words. We also understood how to identify the opinion of the author. Next, I'm going to see you is going to be next Thursday. I come live every Thursday at 10 a.m. I bring articles from various sources. We try to learn many, many th things to these articles. So don't miss out on my class next uh, week as well. If you think this class has helped you, I would want you to one, like the video and come and comment under my video as well if you think this class has been beneficial for you. Commenting under my video helps me a lot. Sharing my video helps me a lot. And if you are targeting at 2023, our comprehensive program has been launched. The details are there under my video in the description box. We also uh, are, no, so this is over, I'm sorry. Yeah, so you can follow us on Instagram, Facebook, Telegram and download our app on Google Play. That's going to be all for today and this week, everyone. I'll see you next year and wish you a very, very happy new year. May this year bring you lots and lots of success, lots and lots of love and happiness to your life. Bye, everyone. Again, wish you a very happy new year.